Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a eyeshadow look for you. I'm not sure what I'll be doing or what kind of look I want to do. Um, I am going to be using my Jaclyn Hill with more or times Morphe palette or Morphe times Jaclyn Hill palette should I say. Um, and it has like you see some beautiful colors. Um, so lots of warm, so I think I'm going to do a warm eyeshadow look for you guys today. Um, let's see what I come up with. Um, this is going to be a voiceover just because there's a lot, a lot of wind. So I don't want that to be a distraction or be in the background. So I'm just going to do a voiceover for today. So um, I hope you enjoy this video and you keep on watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. The first shade I go into is Silk Cream and I use this fluffy brush to blend this shade all over my crease. The next shade I go into is the shade Pooter and I am still using that same fluffy blending brush and with this shade I'm just putting it a little bit closer to my crease. I don't want it to be too low nor too high so just exactly where the crease is. The next shade I go into is the shade Jax and I am using a different brush for this. It's a more uh, precise blending brush and I just want to focus this shade on my outer, outer B. And I, what I like to do is apply a little bit at a time because it's easier to build up a color than it is when you pack in a color and then you try to blend it out. What I like to do to make sure my eyeshadow is the same on both eyes is kind of look up like I just did and then if I need to blend anywhere I'll just go ahead and do it or if I need to pack on more color on one side I'll do it then. Then going in with the shade Queen on a flat shader brush I'm going to be applying this on my lids. Then going back with the brush that I used for Jax, I'm just going to be blending Queen into my outer V so I don't have any harsh lines. I didn't put any extra product onto the brush. I then go in with the shade Beam with this little uh, really pointy uh, brush and I just apply this in my inner corners. Then I go in with my blending brush that I used with my first uh, transition colors and I just furthermore blend. For my mascara today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic. I then go in with the shades Silk Cream and Puder. I'm going to be mixing these two shades. 
um, and applying it on my bottom lash line using a very small blending brush. Can you say that I disappeared? Can you say that I wasn't there for you? When you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch And I reflected on the memories But I put out that torch Going back in the shade Jax, using that same blending brush, I'm going to apply this shade on the one, like one fourth outer lower lash line. Going back in with my mascara, I'm just going to apply this on my bottom lashes, and I'm not going to show this part because, like you see, I'm out of frame. All right, so this is the finished look. I just paired it with a very dark, vampy lip. And um, I just used this one palette. I love this palette. You can do so many looks with it. It was very hard for me to choose what I was gonna do. I kind of wanted to do a green eyeshadow, but it kind of didn't go with my outfit. So um, this is what I did. It's a very rich, um, I would say burgundy color. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.